Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP specialized in SharePoint. Today we will discuss something about InfoPath and then we will see what are the replacement for that. A lot of people actually ask me this question, what is the alternative for InfoPath? Can you consider PowerOps as the alternative? Stuff like that. So I, I just make a, um, I thought I will make a quick video on that. We will get an over, overview or an idea about this. But this is not like a step-by-step -step tutorial how you can migrate from InfoPath form to PowerOps. Not like that, but you will get definitely an idea on how, where InfoPath stands and then what is the alternative for that one. So first of all, InfoPath or PowerOps. The question is simple and the answer is also simple. Now if you are using at the moment, then you should go for PowerOps. You should not consider for developing anything on InfoPath. But let's say you have something uh, on InfoPath and you are in a in a uh, in a version where it's not migrate not uh, uh, you know the support is not ending now then you can still use InfoPath because InfoPath is supported till uh, 2026 so it is by that time it's still you know five six yards are there but till that time you can use it now why this buzz around because a uh, lot of organizations are using InfoPath because of these features InfoPath features and the compatibility that it has with SharePoint so that's the reason InfoPath was quite popular and still lot of organizations are using for new development also today if they have some requirements still lot of organizations they are still using and then they are also going for InfoPath the other side because you, when you go for power ups you require licensing you require lot of development efforts and your existing applications are running so that's the reason still people are using that a lot of people also ask me you know questions on infopath and uh, so i got to know that later there are a lot of large size organizations also they are using infopath why infopath because this is one of the uh, uh, one of the good tool that was available that time um, for developing or for customizing your list forms this was quite popular. This is one of the uh, popular design tool unless and until you are using any third party tool. So you can a uh, lot of people use or use this tool to customize things in their environments. And InfoPath is not uh, uh, new. It was very old in 2003 and it was quite popular in 2010 and 2013 versions as well. And uh, the nature why it was popular because it is easy for the developer. You can drag and drop controls, you can write rules, validations, functions, you can do, you can use all your functionality, you can get all your functionality. Most of the things you will be able to get it here by by uh, doing a less uh, development work. And at the end user perspective, that time it was not too responsive, so it was looking good uh, compared to the out of box forms and then uh, because if you'll set some background image and stuff like that then it will uh, look good forms and people are using for that uh, for that business requirements so it was popular to one of the popular tool now the question is is microsoft uh, uh, discontinued yes infopath has been discontinued so 2013 is the last version and uh, microsoft said that you know, the new version will come new uh, product will come altogether power ups and which you can use for uh, you know form designing and also microsoft said that it is now it is supported till 2026 so till 26 it is supporting so next you know the at the time of recording when i'm doing next five years is there where when uh, till that time it will be supported now next question also is does infopath require license yes it require license it is not a free tool though you can download a standalone version because uh, in 2016 office 2016 onwards it is not there so your your infopath is not a part of your office suit anymore it was there till the last office 2013 so free yes it it is not free because it is coming as a part of your office application now when they put a standalone application let's say you have you have installed office 2016 will infopath will come no it will not come so for that you have to install a uh, separate uh, um, standalone application as infopath i will put the link in the description in case you require and then you can install that but 
the problem is that you require office 360 pay pro licensing for that then without that you cannot use it so ultimately it is not free you, you require something to pay and you can use that that's that's the thing uh, because from office 2016 onwards it is not there so it is that much so that means no new features nothing whatever old it was there in 2013 in four path you, you have to use that thing only so this this one answer to that question yes you can download and install and you can use infopath if you have a office 365 pro license lot of organizations using sharepoint online ask whether infopath is supported in sharepoint online or not now here two things are there one thing is our infopath online uh, sorry sharepoint online classic site and sharepoint online uh, modern site the classic sites are fully supported uh, you can use infopath to customize to create new forms everything is supported as it is so same thing also is supported in sharepoint 2013 and 2016 also now but in the if you are using sharepoint online modern site then you should not use infopath the reason behind that is because you should go for power ups because it has a different look and feel your infopath look is totally uh, uh, not similar to the modern look and feel and in power ups when you will customize it will open in the same window so uh, unlike you know when you will open an infopath it will open a separate window for that separate page for that so you should not use with sharepoint online modern experience that time if you are using modern experience then blindly you should use power apps for your development now the next question is whether what is the replacement for this now there's a couple of things on that one thing is if you are using any third party tool so there are a lot of form designing tools are available uh, of course those are paid you can use that and you can have a very good form designing options on that so lot of also a lot of organizations let's say they are using um, you know in takes or any other forms now they are asking whether now we want to migrate to sharepoint online or we want to use um, uh, sharepoint online modern experience shall we go ahead with uh, the power ups or because we don't want to renew nintex license or the other way is can we use you know nintex with that yes you can use nintex with that there's nintex migration approach as there you can see the official site there is nintex migration approach which where, where you can migrate from your uh, you know classic form to the sharepoint uh, online modern forms as well if you have customized using nintex uh, this is a different product so it's a different uh, uh, path over there for the for the migration the other way is you can use power apps now remember power apps is not only for uh, sharepoint so if you look at infopath is only for sharepoint apps is not only for your sharepoint it is support it is supporting various other services also so there are a lot of other uh, third party services you can you can connect so it's not necessarily you require a sharepoint site to work with power apps it's, it's, it's not required even to excel you can connect and you can uh, st store your data in excel and you can create app for using power apps and you can share with your team members they can uh, you know submit the data those things they can do you don't require a power apps uh, sharepoint online for power apps now if you have your any kind of sharepoint online sites where you want some customization then you can use power apps so and the good thing is that it will open in the same window you will not have a separate redirection to any other page or something like that like infopath so you will use that and most of the cases if you will actually analyze your existing infopath forms and then if you look at then you will be able to know that a lot of things are possible in power apps you can do uh, rules validation so you can do, you can use the formulas in power apps for that so and if you want to put some logo images audio file video files all these things are possible that means you can do those things if you want to show hide all these things you can do mostly whatever there in in your infopath existing infopath forms and if you if let's say very complex form you don't want to do in that then probably you can do SPFX part development and you can you know, that time you have all these options and you can you will be able to uh, design that form and then you can apply the logic also so power-ups you can think of but one more thing I want to tell you is that 
if you are thinking there is a direct migration approach for example let's say you are thinking that there is a, a tool that you can use which will directly migrate your info path form to power apps the answer is no uh, you cannot do that direct approach it's kind of all development that you will do so if you are if you have a complex form with a simple form the, the only thing is you can migrate the data you can create the list and then you can customize the list forms using your uh, power app so that thing that way you can do so this is how you can actually uh, think of power apps as a replacement in terms of uh, the functionality that you have in info path you can do those things in 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 by using power apps in in the future videos we will see the approach i'll see a, a little deep on how we how we should consider on the migration side but today this is for today's video i just wanted to give you an overview uh, where info path stands and then what you should consider now for uh, your uh, for the, your new development or new customization for your serpent list forms and also you can check out a lot of uh, power apps videos that you ha that have in the in the youtube channel and then you can uh, you can see what, how your business functionality whether it is coming fitting your it or not and also whether it is possible or not so those things you can check before uh, deciding whether you should go for power ups or any other uh, tool or or uh, the spfx development so if you like the, the videos kindly subscribe to our channel so you'll get a lot of free videos on various SharePoint, Office 365, SPFX, Power Platform, Azure. So you'll get all these videos. So thank you and have a nice day.